hello, I'm home, I'm here, set up, <laughs> different background, hopefully it looks okay, let me know, it's a, like the second day of daylight savings time and I can actually like get home from the gym and actually film, that's what I'm doing, um, because I've been meaning to film this forever, been so busy, haven't had time. Hey, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a maternity clothing haul. And I want to use that term pretty loosely, haul, because I don't really want to imply that just because you are pregnant, you have to like go out and buy a bunch of clothes. You can definitely make things work that you have already in your closet. Um, and then in addition, you can go out and do what I've mostly done and thrift or get items secondhand. I'm sure you have if you are pregnant, you have a lot of like friends, hopefully, in your life that are like, here, take all my maternity clothes and borrow them so you can use them. Um, I have that, thankfully. Um, and so that's what I wanted to go over in this video today. I kind of mentioned it in my first trimester update that I wanted to do this video and talk about my approach to maternity clothes during my pregnancy. Because if you are not familiar, I quit fast fashion a while ago and so I'm already out of breath can you or hear it I'm only 15 weeks and I'm already out of breath when I speak I'm also very excited so um I quit fast fashion a while ago and so for me it's important that I try and live as closely to that value even throughout my pregnancy um and kind of grow like have that be in my life even after baby comes like that's something that's really important to me so I wanted to talk about that in this video but also talk about some of the items that I purchased new and why I purchased them new and why I'm going to recommend maybe looking into items similar to these one specifically um so that's what I'm gonna do I did do a try on for these pieces um, a while ago. I did them like a week or two ago. I think the footage looks pretty good. I did it during the day in sunlight with a nice white background. So hopefully the video or the footage turns out well. If it does, I will insert it. If it doesn't, I'm going to show the pieces here anyway. So hopefully everything works out and translates well. Um, a little preface. I did um, know going into this that buying secondhand clothes would be a little more challenging for me just because um there's not a lot of maternity clothes in the thrift store there is a section in most of the thrift stores around here but i mean like is that big like there's nothing in there really so i have been looking for maternity clothes um prior to becoming pregnant which sounds kind of weird and you never really know what's gonna happen but i only purchased one two maternity pieces I think a pair of pants and a shirt and then everything else that I accumulated in that time before I got pregnant and then even just after were just clothes that I intended to wear during pregnancy so they're not necessarily maternity clothes but I'm making them work as maternity clothes so I kind of want to show that in this video and that you can make things work I do think that I'm going to need to purchase additional maternity clothes as I progress specifically shirts and probably a few dresses but I, I'm really hoping I can make what I have work I'm hoping my approach will work throughout my entire pregnancy um, and I'm gonna share that here so I'm gonna start with the items that I purchased new and talk about those and why I did that and then I'll show all the thrifted or secondhand items at the end so if you're only interested in secondhand items that I purchased I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below and you can go take a look at those otherwise um, I'm just gonna do the new ones right now because I only have like four or five pieces so let's get into those so the first thing that I purchased new is something I never thought I would buy even before I was pregnant this is something that as someone that was like in the fitness world and like really into working out these are like the most popular things out there and I never wanted to buy them until now and um that's a pair of lululemon leggings I had done a little bit of research um, around weeks like 9 and 10 on the best athletic leggings for pregnancy because I noticed that my leggings were already not comfortable, which was surprising because you'd think stretchy clothes would be more comfortable, but the waistband is just not comfortable on my stomach, at least for me. So 
I did some research and I also did some DMing on Instagram of people that I follow that have been pregnant, um, that worked out throughout their pregnancy. And I, the overwhelming like answer was Lululemon Aligns. So we have a Lululemon store near me. So I went out and tried them on and I got a pair of black full length Lululemon Aligns. They were $98 which is insane. I just can't even believe that I purchased pants for that much, but here we are. Um, I specifically purchased the black ones though, because I thought my thought process was invest in them. You can wear them with everything because they're black and I can, I can wear them to the gym, which they're great at the gym. They are very stretchy. The waistband, there is like no waistband <laughs> like all the other ones. Um, and it goes very high. And so it is contouring to my stomach so well. It's it's really great. Um, they're really good. I mean, they were 90 bucks, but they were 100% worth it. So I can wear these to the gym. I can wear them with a like a tunic. I can wear them on the weekends. I can wear them to work even. <laughs> I can wear them around the house. Like they've been absolutely fantastic, and um, they better last forever for the amount of money that I paid. And they have like a program that I signed up for where if something happens, they do. Um, try to fix them. So um, I'm just really enjoying these and I would recommend them if you're somebody that's going to be working out consistently during your pregnancy and you need something really comfortable to wear. These are great. And I'm going to talk about how I got a few more secondhand later in the video. All right. The second item that I purchased new um, is athletic related as well. Um, were some tank tops. This is what they look like. They're just um, racerback tank tops. They're a little bit longer in the front. They are from Amazon. They're just Amazon Basics. I got two, um, so I have a blue one and a gray one. And the reason I wanted to get these new was because I kind of was on a time crunch in terms of getting something that was going to cover my belly because I want to kind of conceal that at the gym for as long as I can simply because I'm at the gym like doing deadlifts. <laughs> and squats and like lifting and I don't want to draw attention to myself if I can avoid it just because I don't know how people are going to react. Um, I hope that it's not a big deal because it's not a big deal but you never know. So I purchased those. I think they were $15 for two so um, again I'm hoping that they wear well forever and I can wear them maybe not forever for a long time and wear them postpartum. Same with the leggings. I purchased those in what would be my normal size and I'm hoping to wear those postpartum as well. Okay, the final two pieces that I purchased new um, and then we'll get into the thrifted stuff are just basic t-shirts. These are from Destination Maternity which is actually going out of business and so the one near me, these were 50% off and so I went in and I tried them on and they're definitely... <laughs> They're definitely really comfy. They're just basic. They're scoop necks, but they kind of look like a v-neck. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe not on the black one. But they almost look like a v-neck, but they are definitely a scoop. And they have that stretchy band on the side. Got them in an extra small, which is my normal size, but I feel like they might get a little snug here in the summer. But um, they're originally... I don't know how Destination Maternity works, but they must carry a bunch of brands, like maternity clothing brands, because these are a pee in a pod. And they're really comfy, they're really soft. They were 50% off um, in the store, which they were still 19 bucks, which is kind of a lot. But I think that t-shirts are going to be totally worth the investment and I can see myself buying more t-shirts here in the coming weeks. Like that is where I tried to put on a regular tank top today that is kind of loose normally on me and it didn't look right. So I ended up not wearing it today. So, um... I'm really happy with the purchases. Um, these ones that I purchased new, I don't feel bad about them. I think the biggest thing is just doing my best at purchasing secondhand when I can all the time, but also during my pregnancy and kind of being a little bit easier on myself during this time when I need to be easier on myself and be more accommodating. I'm going to get into the thrifted items now. I'm already at 11 minutes. So again, I'm going to try and get through these, but I have kind of a lot. So. My approach with thrifted items that are not maternity, because I got some on eBay, which are, is to get, I, I wanted to get items that were tunics because I can wear them right now in this weird middle phase where I don't really sh 
be like I don't really look like I'm pregnant unless you knew I was pregnant but I'm not really like fitting into my regular clothes and so um I got the tunics to wear in this interim phase and then I'm hoping that as I get bigger they will eventually like look like regular t-shirts on me um same with the dresses that I'm gonna show I sized up in a lot of them and they're also very long on me and I had seen that from somebody else on on YouTube that during summer they just got uh, dresses that were a size up and that worked for them so I'm gonna try that and see how it goes um and then everything I got is pretty much my normal size there's a few pieces that are smalls that are a little bit bigger but pretty much everything is my size so I'm gonna do the athletic stuff first so I can talk about the thrifted Lululemons so I did get two pairs of Lululemon line crops so um, a little bit shorter than the full length um, on Poshmark and I got a pair of green this is what these ones look like again they're so stretchy they're really soft um, and I got the pair that I'm wearing right now they're like a mulberry color I guess you could say I don't know if you're gonna see them that's just my bum but you can kind of see the color there you can see my bump just a little bit so I got those two on Poshmark Poshmark is loaded with Lululemon so if you want to get them and you don't want to get them new Poshmark Poshmark, Poshmark, you just have to kind of be on top of your game because when people like put them on sale, people snatch them up real fast. I also have two tops that I've thrifted. The first one is just like this white striped kind of um, shirt and I got it just in the thrift store and I tried it on on a whim. It's a size small petite so it does, um, it fits me really well actually. It's really cute and I don't really like shirts when I work out um, but it does go low enough to cover my belly right now. I'm guessing in a few weeks it'll be a little snug but um, right now it works really well. It's really great for just like cardio and going to the gym to like walk on the treadmill which is what I've been doing with this because I don't like to do like lifting in t-shirts it's just not comfortable for me so really like those are the great with the green uh, leggings that I got super cute um the last is actually something I showed in a previous thrift haul and it's just an oversized workout shirt that goes down far and it has like almost like a ruching at the bottom right now I'm just wearing it around the house and it's super comfy because right now I'm all about comfort like I just want to wear comfy clothes and um I don't know what the brand is on either of these um it doesn't really matter this one says tangerine it's the other one tech gear dry tech that sounds like it could be like a legit workout brand, but I've never heard of them. Anyways, this one is just, I'm wearing it around the house right now. And as I get bigger, I think that it will actually fill out really well. And I'll be able to wear it as a regular workout shirt in the summer. So, okay. The next are tank tops. And I have two of these, but I cannot seem to find the black one. But they're just these um, tank tops with a ruching. Um, these ones are from Motherhood Maternity. Yes. Motherhood maternity, they're an extra small. I got this on eBay along with the black one and they're a little big. Like they're a little big up here and maybe I'll fill out as I progress in my pregnancy and I, I don't know, we'll see, but it is a little bit big on the top, I'm not gonna lie. So um, they are flattering enough to where I will wear them. I'm holding on to them. Um, just a little bit disappointed in the sizing, I guess, but I think as I get a little bit bigger in the stomach that it'll turn out. So again, basic. I can wear that with anything. I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it with leggings. I can wear it with a denim jacket. My workplace is pretty casual, so I'm planning on wearing just like jeans and a tank top and a jacket this summer because that's what I can wear and dresses. So um, that'll be really nice. Hopefully I'm pretty comfy. All right, the next is a just a regular shirt. It's from Express in a size medium. I'm generally an extra small. My best friend actually saw this on the rack and was like, hey, you wanna try it on? And so it has a little bit of a longer front. And so again, I'm hoping as I'm getting bigger here in the next couple of weeks that I can wear this um, and fill it out with a bump a little bit better. Um, I don't know that this is gonna fit me this summer, but that's okay. It will fit me a postpartum again as I'm just getting back into work. Um, maybe you haven't lost all the weight, who knows? Um, but yeah, I like the green. I'm really into green, like army green and hunter green. That's like a really pretty um, color. All right, so the next two are actually from the same brand, but I purchased them at different times at different stores, but they're really similar. 
One is a small and one is an extra small. They look almost exactly the same. Um, this one is green. This one is blue. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see the difference. Um, again, I did a try on, so hopefully I can insert pictures or video footage of that. But they're from this brand called Green Envelope from Los Angeles. Never heard of them. Um, but they are super comfy, super cute. I wore this one a couple of weekends ago with, um, like a green hunter green jacket and just like my Lululemon the black alliance and it was so cute so simple put on cute boots kind of looked like a pirate but I'm into it um and I just totally rocked it and again it's so comfy it'll it covers my belly right now as I'm in this weird <laughs> in between phase and I'm hoping I can wear it as a shirt as I progress um get a little bit bigger again same with the green one the green one has almost like different and asymmetrical cut so it kind of has a little ruching right here which I think is so cute. So the next one is an actual maternity sh uh, shirt. Tunic? I can't really tell what it's supposed to be. Would you call this a shirt or a tunic? It, it's almost like too long to be a shirt. But um, this one is actual maternity. It's from Lizling Maternity and I thrifted this one. This is like the most typical maternity shirt I think I've ever seen but it's actually a medium but I think it must have shrunk because it fits me really well and I feel like a Target stuff runs big and so I I know that a medium is not my normal size there so um yeah it's cute I think it'll be cute in the summer as I get bigger because it's got the ruching kind of goes along with the shirts that I got um from Destination Maternity. All right I have three more tunic like shirts and I have a tank top as well that I'm not able to show right now but I wore it because I wore it today and it's just a black and white maternity tank top and it kind of goes down a little bit longer so I think that that's meant to like get be more stretchy so that it can rise up as you progress and get a bigger belly but it was so comfy today and I just loved it like I said I put on a different shirt and it didn't fit me great and so I just put that one on and it was so much more comfortable and I'm just getting to the point now where I just want to be comfortable and feel good about what I'm wearing and and putting that on just made me feel really good and even when I was doing the try on of these I was like I feel really good in these like feel felt really confident really beautiful like that sounds totally corny but I was really down on myself for a little bit <laughs> because there's a lot of things going on, a lot of changes, but I, I felt really good in all of these and doing the try on. I was just like having so much fun. So the next is a gray tunic. Has almost, again, like an asymmetrical bottom. This is a small, it's originally from um, Air Hustle. So it's one of their soft and sexy shirts, which I actually have um, one that I purchased, it was a while ago when I was still purchasing fast fashion. It's just a black one. They are very soft and very comfy and again, I can wear this with leggings. I think I'm gonna wear this with jeans to work here in the next couple of weeks because it's not quite long enough to wear with leggings, but I can totally wear this with like a denim jacket or that green uh, hunter jacket that I was talking about. And it's super cute, super flattering, super comfy. There's a trend here. I wanna be comfy. This next one I absolutely love and will be wearing it. Uh, postpartum for sure um and I showed it in a previous haul and it is this red asymmetrical um is this asymmetrical when it's longer in the back short in the front I'm not quite sure um but again I think oh this one's from Target and it's a small extra small it's an extra small but it's really big um it's pretty big on me and like an extra small is my normal size and I would say it's it's probably more of a small but that's just me um it's red with stripes. I really like stripes if you haven't noticed. Um, they're just a way I think to have basics in your closet that are a little bit different. Like they're just a little something extra. I, I don't know. I like stripes. Anyways this has a cute little pocket on it and it goes down and covers my belly. I wore this on Friday. We went out with some friends and I wore it with my denim jacket and again just a pair of black leggings and cute boots and just totally rocked it and I absolutely love this it's so comfortable and um, it has like paneling on the side I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it but it has this like paneling and so I feel like it's going to stretch out with my belly really well so like I said regular item from originally from Target and it's not maternity but I feel like it will work well so love that 
the last tunic item, I guess you would say, is this gray striped and blue really, really long tunic with long sleeves. And this is originally from Charlotte Russe. It's in a small... I've been wearing this around the house mostly. Um, just want to be comfortable around the house and it's still pretty chilly out. Um, it's finally warming up, but I mean like it's, you know, still pretty chilly in the house. And so this is really comfy to have on with leggings and like my robe even and just wear it around the house. If I need to like run outside to take the garbage out, I feel like I can wear this because I'm covered up. Um, so yeah, really simple, really easy to wear. I might even be able to wear it as a dress here in the spring, like when you're in that weird spring phase when it's warm, but it's still breezy. <laughs> so you're like, I don't wanna wear tights, but I'm still kinda cold. I don't know, let me know if you can relate. But um, yeah, really enjoying that. Again. Okay, so I have three dresses that I purchased with the intention of wearing during my pregnancy. Um, that one is maternity that I got from eBay and the other two are not. So, uh-oh, it's falling off the hanger. So the first one is from H&M Maternity. I didn't even know H&M did maternity, but I guess they do. Um, this is a small, which is my normal size from H&M, um, from one I used to buy from there. And it's just a red, like, almost like, a, it's not a sweater material, but it has like that sweater like lining on it. And it's like a maroonish color, maroonish red, and you can see there's a little ruching on the side. And it's like a bodycon dress, and I thought this would be really cute for like a date night in summer, like when I'm when I'm really big and I just want to wear something that makes me feel really good about myself. I was like, I could look good in this. I could rock this with like a denim jacket, of course, and like some like maybe wedges if I'm feeling really confident, <laughs> and like a necklace. Like this could be so cute and just like perfect date night. Um. It, this is going on the baby moon for sure um, to wear out to dinner. So, and I can wear this with tights right now if I wanted to, but um, it's a little big on the top again. So I don't know if that's like normal that maternity clothes are bigger on the top. Um, I'm guessing so just because that makes sense. Um, Cause everything up there kind of grows as well. But um, yeah, I, I really like that one and I'm really excited to wear that one as it gets warmer. Two more dresses, they're really similar. They're both like a yellow color. One is originally from Old Navy. It is like that neon green color. I don't know if you can see it, if it's translating well, um, but it's a shift dress and it's in a small, so it definitely is oversized for me. I wear an extra small. If they had an extra, extra small at Old Navy, I'd probably wear that. So this is very long on me. It's bigger on the top, but I think that'll be fine. I can wear this with like a bandeau bra that's sketchy to wear when you're pregnant I don't know we'll see I can wear it with like a bralette on the top um, and I would be totally comfortable with that if it's showing a little bit that doesn't bother me but it's very long like you'll see in the try on if I'm able to get the footage in it's so long on me that this will definitely accommodate my belly and like it'll pull up and it'll be fine the last one is also from Old Navy it's extra small so this is actually my size but it's this yellow shift dress again and it's quite long on me, which is normal for a lot of old navy dresses, and it has little, like, flowers on them. They almost look like dandelions, and so it's it's super 90s, and I, I really, I almost said I super love it. Super 90s, and I super love it. Um, and it's just so freaking cute. I could wear it right now, and I would just love it. Too cold for that. So, yeah, I really think this is so cute. It's gonna be so cute with a denim jacket. If you can't tell, I put a denim jacket on everything and I call it an outfit. That's almost everything. I don't have the jeans that I've purchased, but I did get a pair of maternity jeans from the thrift store and I tried them on to do the try on and they fit really well. They feel really good. I'm really glad that I got them. I think they're black um, and with other denim, I actually went out and just purchased denim in a size up when I found out I was pregnant and those have been working pretty well. So with those, with my denim, I've been wearing a belly band. I have a black one and a white one to go with like when I wear camis under my shirt, so either black or white. And this has been great. I whipped this out last week and they've been really fantastic. So I got them both secondhand. I got one on eBay, one on Facebook. So that's been awesome. And they allow you to wear your regular pants, but unbuttoned and it's just, so great, I can breathe again at work. So 
I also have a few pairs of leggings I purchased, just like black ones from the thrift store that I got in a size up that I've been wearing around the house. Nothing fancy, nothing I'm planning on working out in, but something I did want to mention as an option. The last two pieces I'm going to show I got just this past week, and so I don't have a try on for them, but they're maternity shorts. I found a pair on eBay, purchased those, and our heat's about to kick on, so apologies if you can hear it. Um, I purchased those, and they came in the mail Saturday, and then I ran to the thrift store Saturday to get wicker. I was looking for wicker storage baskets, and I found a pair of maternity shorts in the regular shorts section, and they fit, and I have two pairs now, and I think two pairs is all I'm going to need, but I knew I was going to need maternity shorts because I'm due in late August, so I'm going to need shorts in July and August for sure. So this is the pair I got on eBay. I think I got these for $10. The brand is um, Lux Essential Denim. They're cute. They're super cute. They fit me really well. They're a little loose in the leg, which I think is good. I think I'm going to want that. And they do have a little bit of a cuff at the bottom. A little bit of distress on the pockets. And they're just really cute. They're going to be really good with the basic tank tops and, and tees that I got. And then this is the pair I got at the thrift store. They were literally on top of the rack. Like someone had broken the hanger and just threw them back on top of the rack. Um, they're an indigo... Indigo Blue is the brand. I don't know if they make exclusively maternity clothes. I did see this brand on eBay when I was looking for maternity shorts, so it's possible. I'm not, not sure. But it has, again, that like stretchy top. Cute pockets. They're a little loose in the legs, like in the thigh area, but I'm totally cool with that. A little design on the back. And then a little bit of like distress at the bottom. And they're just super cute, super basic. Um, I got their small, like I said, the other ones are small and they fit great, so I'm, I'm really happy with that and <laughs> finding those. That's all my maternity clothes right now, maternity clothes. All the clothes that I've purchased so far with the intention of wearing during my pregnancy, I didn't realize I had this much until I pulled everything out and like put it on the bed to do the try on. I have, I think, plenty to get me through the majority of my pregnancy like I said I think as I progress I'm gonna need more t-shirts that's gonna be the like the one thing I probably do purchase from either Amazon or Target are t-shirts and tank tops um, I do look on Facebook periodically to see what's available but I haven't been able to find much in my size in my area Poshmark besides the Lululemon lines has been really great for maternity clothes. Um, eBay has been pretty good. I purchased a few other pieces that I ended up having to donate because they just did not fit me very well, but um, eBay is a pretty good resource as well. I think it's actually an underrated resource if you're somebody that doesn't purchase new. Um, so check out eBay um, if you're looking for really anything, but if you are pregnant looking for secondhand maternity clothes, they have um, quite a few selections on there. And then I'll probably just keep up with the thrift store and do what I can to buy secondhand as much as I can. So I'm going to wrap it up there because I'm hungry, it's getting dark, and I'm rambling, it's getting long. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This has been a really fun video for me and uh, getting to show off these really cute clothes that I thrifted. Um, even though I got some new, I get it. Um, and so I hope that you will subscribe and like this video, stick around for my journey. I have lots of content coming up that I've written down that I'm really hoping to get to now that it's daylight savings time and it's bright in the evenings. And uh, yeah, that's all I have today. I will see you in my next video. Bye.